Welcome back to another Daddy Daily video where today I will be doing the third part of the bunker. In past episodes, I did that. You did. You held the ground and it did that. Then here, I must have less left this open. We created a thing that when you throw bamboo only, this will open. And then you can take it out to open the lock. In this video, we're going to be doing a combination lock. This one, I have like a bunch of wool blocks everywhere and a bunch of levers on them. Uh, today, you can do, you can do, you don't have to have the wool blocks. You can decorate the wall however you want. But I just did it so I could remember it's going to be these two. So then these two, if you press them both, then it'll open. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to put blocks there and blocks there. So then you can take a repeater output from them, like that, and you'll put one right here, and then you're just going to have to connect them with one thing. So then we can basically go like this. Actually, you don't, yeah, you don't need these here. You don't need those blocks. You can clear up a little bit more space. So then you have that there and that there. Then you're going to connect the two torches with redstone. So then basically, if I turn this lever, it's not going to work. Because that one does turn off, but this torch is still powering this one. Only when both of these turn off, will that turn off. Okay, so now we just have to put that into our machine. The one thing that's wrong with this, though, is um, <laughs> uh, you... Er, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of hard to put them next to each other, so you do have to space it apart. But as long as you, like, keep them apart, you can have as many as you want. You could have, like, 50 of them, so you have to click 50 levers to open one door. So, I'll be back in a moment. The next part I did is I built, like, this tunnel down here. So then you go down here, and then there'll be more over here, more contraptions over here. That's where the base is going to be, because this is the last thing. That I've done. So then after you have this, you're going to have both torches run into this repeater that goes into this torch. So then basically that makes it all happen. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go down here like that. I think that might work. I think this could work. I'm probably going to have to have a slab there, though. Or I can put that down there. And have... No, I'm going to have to have that right. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a block right there. But that is the last level of protection. So then you put this down. And then... So now we can test it. So now they're both there. I can flick random ones, that won't work. And what it, I figured out that it was a yellow, pretend I'm a random person, but it didn't work. So I click the other yellow, and it does work. That is how you do a combination lock in Minecraft using redstone. It's too bad I can't hide this. I can get a slab, but that doesn't really matter. It won't hide it as well. It's it's fine. It, oh, we could even put... I bet I could put a banner there. <laughs> that'd be, be kind of weird, but I could just put a banner there. there let's get a black banner. Yep, there, it's, <laughs> it's hidden. <laughs> you can totally not see it. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the last level of security for the Redstone Bunker. I hope you enjoyed it. And soon enough, we're going to be putting in random things like i think i'm gonna make an automated farm a super smelter i'm gonna teach you guys how to do an automatic brewing system and so this uh base will be packed with redstone stuff but for now this is it and hope you guys enjoyed and uh please sub and like goodbye